Bitcoin. Hey there, YouTube Coin community. It's Dustin with CoinOp, and today we are going to take a look at Franklin Half Dollar Repunch Mint Marks, but we're only going to take a look at the most popular ones that you can find. So while we're sitting around with nothing to do on quarantine, might as well get all that silver out, get out your Franklin Half Dollars, and let's take a look for some of these beautiful Repunch Mint Marks. So let's dive right on in. All right, so we're going to take a look at Franklin Half Dollar Repunched Mint Marks. Now, the ones that we're going to take a look at, these are ones that can be found in the PCGS price guide. PCGS only lists the top varieties. Um, they don't list any of the secondary or minor varieties. They pretty much list the main varieties. So if you can find value in the PCGS price guide for a variety, it's typically a desirable variety. So we are going to scroll down. From the price guide pcgs price guide we're going to scroll down to the half dollars and we're going to go to franklin half dollars minted 1948 through 1963. we're going to pull those up when you're taking a look at this franklin half dollar price guide uh, you're going to see that they have listings for ms or fbl fbl stands for a full bell line that deals with the reverse i'll show you the first one that we pull up uh, full bell line examples do bring more premium, mainly in uncirculated grades. Uh, below uncirculated, they're almost all not full bell line. But uh, we'll take a look at those. So we're going to take a look at the most popular repunch mint marks in the series. And we're going to start with the 1949S. So... When we're in the price guide where each box is, if you see a little plus next to it, that means that there are varieties for you to look at. So if you just click on it, you'll see it opens right up. And now we also have a 1949 S over S RPM listed as FS501. And it has its own values for it. And there's the full bell line examples. So we're gonna take a look at this one. Now for this video, we are actually gonna use Variety Vista. Variety Vista is a great resource to use, but for this one with the repunched mint marks on Franklin Half Dollars, they have really, really good images, uh, better than any of the other ones that I could find. So we're going to start out here in Variety Vista. We're gonna go down to their free online eBooks and we're gonna to go to Franklin Halves. And after we click on that, we're gonna come down here to where it says RPMs. So we're in the Franklin Half Dollar Variety Book. We're gonna to go to RPMs. And you can see they have them all listed by date. And we are gonna start with the 1949S. And this is the FS501. They have it listed right here. As you can see, there are a few other ones that they have listed. I do believe on DoubleDye.com, John Wexler has a few others listed as well. So that's another great resource. But we're going to click on this 1949S. They have it listed as RPM2 FS501. And when you're taking a look at this one, if you can see, you can see very strong spread to the south. So here's the primary mint mark. And right underneath of it is remnants of a secondary repunching. You can see it clear as day on these ones. You do not need a jeweler's loop to see this. You should be able to see this with the naked eye. However, magnification definitely, definitely helps. Okay, so if you were to find one of these, circulated examples, uh, looks like values start out in an XF40. They go for about 35 bucks. AU examples, about $40. Uncirculated examples, they go from about $50 all the way up to $1,250 for a full bell line example. Let's click on a full bell line example. Let me show you what they are referring to before we move on. Now, down here on the bell, if you are looking at the lines going across the bell, if you can see and make out all of the lines with no breaks, no scratches through them, cutting them, then it would be listed as a full bell line. Uh, typically, that bell line that we're looking at uh, is really weak and doesn't show very clear on a lot of your examples. Even really nice high uncirculated graded examples, it'll be a real weak strike. So, 
you won't be able to see these lines on the belt. Now, if you can see these lines on the belt, but it has a die gouge or a ding or mark through it or a scratch through it, it will not get the full bell line grade. Nothing can be breaking these bell lines. So that's what a full bell line is. And they do carry a premium. However, the 1949S, if we were to take a look at that RPM, you'll see it's not really a whole lot of premium over what it typically would bring for that coin, but it definitely is worth it in uncirculated grades. Um, however, if you've got your silver sitting at home and you've got a bunch of Franklin half dollars, it does not hurt to pull this out, look for it, maybe make a little bit extra money on the circulated examples. All right, we are going to move on to the 1950D RPM FS501. 1950D RPM FS501. 501. Again, we are going to come over here to Variety Vista. And this time we are going to go to 1950D. And right there, the FS501. This is the repunch mint mark that we are going to take a look at. Now, this one is listed as a repunch mint mark, but I myself have always felt that this is actually an over mint mark, which an over mint mark is when it's one mint mark over top of a completely different mint mark, like a D over top of an S which is what I believe this one actually is. Some people feel this is a D over D, but I'll show you why I feel like that. But if you're looking at this one, you're gonna see right underneath of the primary mint mark, this long thin hook thing. This is the remnants of a secondary mint mark. You can see it right underneath in there, there, big time here. And then there is a really nice die scratch that runs from the E underneath the R right over top of Franklin's head on the obverse. So if you're taking a look at the reverse and you find this little hook on the mint mark and you take a look at the obverse and you find that die scratch, you definitely have this variety. Now they do have some little uh, overlays. Now this would be a D mint mark. They tried overlaying a D mint mark. I can see how that makes it. But I feel as if this is actually S mint mark that is underneath of it. You know what? Actually, on this one, on the 1950D RPM, listed as FS501. What do you feel this is? Do you feel that this is just a repunch mint mark? That this is a D over top of a secondary D? Or do you feel that this is a D over top of an S mint mark and it's actually an over mint mark? Let me know down in the comments what your opinion on this coin is. I would be very curious to hear, because I've always just thought that this was an over mint mark, even though they've listed it as an RPM, a repunched mint mark. Now, if you were to find one of these, 1950D uh, FS501 RPMs, you'll still see that in XF40, they start out at about 35 bucks, uh, 55 in an AU. Uncirculated examples, they go from about $70 upwards of 525 for a nice full bell line example. So there is some value there. All right, we are going to move on to the 1951 S over S. Now this one is listed as FS501. Yet again, we're going to come over here to Variety Vista. And we are going to go to 1951 S. And we are going to find that FS501. Now, there are a bunch of really beautiful repunched mint marks for uh, this year, 1951S, especially the RPM3. I think that one's a very nice, strong, bold repunched mint mark, along with the RPM5, the RPM4. There's just some really good ones. But the RPM1, the FS501, that's the one that we are going to take a look at. Now, this one, again, has a very strong spread. Now, this spread is underneath and slightly to the west. So it's south and just a tiny bit to the west. Just a tiny bit. But you can see it right underneath to the south. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful repunching. That is a beautiful, beautiful repunch mint mark. Now, if you were to find one of these, looks like circulated examples. They just carry a small premium. But uncirculated examples, they start out at around 32 bucks, and they can trade upwards 
of $1,750 for a full bell line example. Okay, we are gonna move on to a 1952S repunch mint mark. This is an S over S repunch mint mark listed as FS501, Franklin, half a dollar. So we're gonna come back over to Variety Vista. We are gonna go to 1952S. And there it is right there. This one is actually an S over S over S. This is a triple punched mint mark. So you can see, do it on the bigger one. There's repunching right here to the east of it. And then there's also repunching right here to the west. So this looks like it would have been the first punch. This would have been the second one. And that would have been the third one. So underneath of the primary mint mark, you can see two secondary mint marks on this wonderful variety. Now, if you do happen to find the 1952 S over S over S, listed as FS501, this one, in circulated conditions, they start out in a fine 12, about 17 bucks, and they go upwards of around 55 to 60 bucks. Uncirculated examples, they start out at 65, they can trade upwards of 675 bucks. And we are gonna move on to a 1957D. 1957D, this is a D over D, listed as RPM FS501. RPM501. And we are gonna come back over to Variety Vista. And we are gonna go to 1957D. There it is right there, FS501. Now on this one, you are really gonna wanna pay attention to the serifs. You're gonna see the splits right there on the serifs. Now there are die scratches, heavy die scratches on the reverse of this one. So if you do see these little split serifs and you see these heavy die scratches, well chances are you have this repunched mint mark. Now, if you do happen to find one of these, looks like uncirculated examples go for around 20 bucks, upwards of $70. And a full bell line example goes for about 50 bucks, upwards of $350. They do not have any values listed for circulated examples. So there you go. There's some very beautiful repunched mint marks for you. All right, everybody, just a heads up, the 37th annual Greater Cincinnati Numismatic Exposition will be held Friday, July 17th, and Saturday, July 18th, from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Now, they are running an early bird special Thursday, July 16th, from 3 to 7 for $40. That's an excellent price. Now, that is at the Sharonville Convention Center, so if you'd like to meet CoinOp, you want to go out to a coin show, this would be an excellent opportunity we will be there. We, Robert Lawson, Fortalina, myself, we will be out there. So make your reservations now. Start booking Friday, July 17th and Saturday, July 18th, the 37th Annual Greater Cincinnati Numismatic Exposition. Well, there you go. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what you think about that 1950D RPM. Let me know whether you think it's a repunch mint mark or an over mint mark, whether you think it's a D over S or a D over D. Well, everyone, if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you are not yet subscribed to our channel, click on that subscribe button. And while you are at it, click on the notification bell. That way you get notified immediately when we upload new content. Well, everyone, until next time, have fun. Oh.